So that's it, folks. That is the Lake Oroville spillway. And that's what 35,000 cubic feet of water coming over the spillway looks like. And believe it or not, that is just a fraction of what came down in 1997. Back then, it was over 100,000 cubic feet per second. That raging torrent is intentional. Water roars over the spillway. The Department of Water Resources continues to release water out of Lake Oroville, despite massive damage being caused by erosion. I guess it's sort of a triage situation. They know it's causing damage, but it's, it's, it's not beyond um, what they, uh, they, they deem as being safe. Eric C., spokesperson for DWR, says a hole in the spillway estimated to be at least 200 feet long and 30 feet deep is not a cause for alarm. It's like getting a dent in your car. That doesn't mean the car doesn't run. It may not look very nice. But it is an issue they're working on with urgency. Record rain continues to pour, sending water into Lake Oroville at a rate of 118,000 cubic feet per second. That's more water going into the lake than being sent out. So they need to keep releases going. So an incident command post has been set up at DWR headquarters in Butte County. They're doing a lot of work uh, to determine uh, the next steps and, and processes for the actual dam situation. Ron Quigley, a deputy administrator with the Governor's Office of Emergency Services, is here with several other Cal OES representatives, all on hand to monitor the situation, coordinate communication, and offer assistance when needed. It's always good to be face-to-face -face and, and be, a, be a body in the room to uh, uh, coordinate and support. Oroville Dam opened in 1968, creating the reservoir and using its water to generate power. DWR says it was designed with two spillways, this one and another emergency spillway you can't see. It was also designed to handle water coming over the top of the lake. But for now, the spillway is doing its job, although the hole beneath that flow is sending water over the edge and taking much of the surrounding terrain with it. At least one media outlet erroneously reported the spillway had completely collapsed. That's a rumor DWR and every emergency responder is dispelling. We have uh, dam safety engineers up there, we have geologists, we have uh, uh, spillway design engineers. They're looking at it right now and constantly monitoring it and, and watching the erosion. So there you have it. You're looking at it, folks. The Lake Oroville spillway has not had a catastrophic failure. So if you happen to get one of those messages coming over your phone, whether it be through social media or anything, it's a rumor. Has not happened. You can see it right there. I'm Sean Boyd out here at Lake Oroville for Cali OES News. OESnews.com, Twitter, at Cal underscore OES, Facebook, Cal underscore OES.